This is my review of the Diamond USB 3.0 to a DVI or HDMI or VGA multi display adapter. Uh, pretty much this product, uh, what it is, is it's a USB 3 adapter that will hook up to a monitor so that you can have an extra monitor coming out of your USB port. And I didn't even know these existed until I researched these, but I got this one on eBay used and uh, I bought it because I already have a three monitor set up. My laptop has three HDMI outs on it, and I got my old monitor back, and I wanted to hook up this old monitor, but I already used all the HDMI ports, and uh, my laptop only connects through HDMI. So, this was an excellent choice. I'm just going to let you know that right now. It's a, it was a little finicky at first to set it up, but, uh, you know, the bonus is, is uh, you can hook it up through HDMI, DVI, uh, DVI or VGA. Uh, this only has DVI and VGA supports. And I will show you how I still did HDMI through an adapter. But let's look inside the box first. So if we look at the back of the box, it kind of tells you what it comes with, okay? That big box right here is the main adapter, okay? That hooks up to your, to your laptop or your PC through a USB 3.0 cable. Um, again, I'll show you this after. But then after that, you have to choose what adapter. They, they actually have a DVI out on the main unit. And then they give you a VGA adapter, which is DVI to regular VGA, which is the old style. For those people who don't know what VGA is, the old style monitor hookup. And then, if you want to do HDMI, again, it's DVI output on that. So, they have a DVI to HDMI um, female adapter. You have to get the HDMI cable, and then you can plug that right into the monitor if it has an HDMI out on it. I mean, in, sorry. Or you have to get an adapter for the monitor and hook it up to this adapter, which is what I did. Um, but it comes with, uh, if you want HDMI, obviously you just plug HDMI to HDMI on your, on your uh, thing there. But I always go for the best. And I will let you know the benefits of me hooking up through HDMI because at first I had it hooked up to VGA. So I did not have an adapter to hook this all up. So we'll do all that. But let, let's take a look at the product itself now, now that we have an idea of what we do to hook things up. So I have a USB 3.0 hub. Uh, it's really important that you hook this adapter up to a 3.0 uh, USB port because that's going to give you the faster data transfer and it will mean better performance. And that's why I went with the USB 3 and, uh, instead of 2. There are USB 2 adapters out there, but again, the USB 3 gives you faster um, output. It just supports uh, faster speeds and it will give you better performance. So I have hooked up to this hub, which is hooked up to a USB 3 port. Then, out of that port, this is actually a USB 3 extender cable plugged into the main cable that they give you, okay? And it just hooks up to um, this. This is so I can get around my desk because I'm behind the monitor right now. I'm trying to hide cables when possible. So it hooks up to their USB 3 uh, cable, which then, this is behind the monitors again. I just pulled it out for uh, display purposes. Their USB 3 hooks into the main unit here okay and then this main unit you have hooked up to that adapter this is the HDMI to HD uh, sorry your DVI to HDMI hookup and then this is just an HDMI cable that's going to go to the monitor right here I'm going to flip this sideways if that's okay so we got HDMI cable here which then is plugged into a DVI to a female HDMI cable. So it just plugs right in. I'm going to unplug it so you can see what I mean. So I just took the DVI port and I made it an HDMI one by buying this on eBay. Uh, I bought it from a US seller to get it here earlier. It was like $2 and change, so it didn't take much. And then you just plug the HDMI in. All right. So with this monitor, my system now becomes a fourth, uh, four monitor system. Um, you could hook up, I believe it is up to six of these, but you would need six USB 3.0 ports. And obviously you would have to, if you have a hub, you probably have to power at that point to power all that stuff. But this has been a great adapter. Um, basically it just acts as an extra monitor in the window setup. So if we go here and we select display settings, it's going to show you. Number one is my actual laptop monitor, and I have that off right now. That, that's why it's small. This two, I'm running what they call NVIDIA Physics. So this three monitors right here 
is actually viewed as one in Windows because I have it set up to a resolution of it's 5760, excuse me, by 1080. So it acts like a big monitor that has that resolution. And then the other monitor, this number three, is actually that monitor. So again, with this adapter, just makes a, uh, an extra monitor hookup. And this is an older monitor, but the resolution on that is 2080 by 1024. I think I bought this back in 2004, if I'm right. But uh, it's an excellent monitor. Um, I do a lot of flight simming on my computer. And I also watch a lot of uh, streaming cable on here. So it frees up. I can have my workspace here while I have the TV, on, TV going on over here. And uh, I can show you some of that. I'm going to have to turn the, uh, the volume off so I don't get any copyright infringements. But um, let me show you uh, what it looks like. And it's really important that when you stream that you have HDMI with this system and I'll explain why when we're watching some TV on this fourth monitor. So where I live we have Xfinity and uh, as part of the service you can watch these programs. It's just like a regular cable box but through the internet by going to their website and logging in with your Comcast uh, account. Um, so pretty much what I do on this fourth monitor if I want to free up space on the three monitors there is I will watch TV on here by just doing that and it loads the channels. Now the reason why I recommend and I learned this the uh, hard way but I recommend having HDMI is because when you're streaming all this stuff you want to make sure that there's no uh, stoppages or glitches basically okay when you use VGA and you hook it up to that box over there for some reason, it just doesn't have the data throughput that it should have, and it stutters. The video will stutter with the volume. So, um, yeah, so I recommend HDMI. And again, you could do that with old monitors. They sell VGA to HDMI adapters on eBay. They sell HDMI to uh, DVI adapters, which is what I did with this one. And as you can see, there's no stuttering. There's no freezing or anything. But when I had the VGA um, thing going on, the uh, just VGA connection to the to the box, it was stuttering and you couldn't watch on this. So HDMI again will give you the fastest throughput of data and it will make it so it doesn't stutter at all. So this is the box that comes in that main box I showed you earlier. And inside of it you have the main unit that goes there. And then they give you two adapters. Remember if you want DVI, which is this connection right here, if you want DVI, you just come right out of that box because it has a DVI end on it. And then you just get a DVI uh, cable and it goes to your DVI connection on your monitor. But this is the adapter that comes with, this is one of the adapters, there's only two that come with it. This would be from DVI, you'd plug it into the box and you'd have a VGA go out. And this is how I had the monitor originally hooked up. Remember when I said that it would stutter? So that's why you, you can have an extra monitor, but you can't do like streaming stuff on it or anything that's too graphic intensive on it. The one I have on there now, again, is DVI, which is this end, to HDMI. And this is just an HDMI cable that plugs into that. And again, that is the best way to hook up. But that adapter actually came with this too. So again, that's how they accomplish. You can either do VGA, you can do DVI right out of the box, or you can do this HDMI one. I use this HDMI adapter. And uh, that makes it very flexible in, in use for this. Um, it also supports full 1080p, which it should if it's doing HDMI. Um, and yeah, it's just it's, it's a great product. The requirements aren't that high. Uh, it's compatible with Windows 10, 8, and 7. And if you're on Mac OS, OS X, it's 10.6 and higher. Uh, not that bad on the computer. I mean, if you don't have a 1.6 gigahertz CPU, you have problems. One gigabyte of memory. And then it can have for six screens, where one screen can run full screen DVD video, you need a slightly, you need a dual core. But again, if you, if you don't have that, or nowadays it's like, I don't know what you have, but you have a wicked old, wicked old, you have a wicked old computer. Now it says USB 2.0, okay? So it will hook up to USB 2.0, but if you have 3.0, it's gonna have a little bit more faster data. So that's why they made it USB 3. Um, they give you a little bit of software. It's just to install a driver so that the uh, system can recognize the box. And uh, CD-ROM or DVD just to install it. Uh, 3.0, again, this is what it comes with. I went all of that stuff. Quick, quick installation. Honestly, it's pretty easy. You just plug it in, you install the software, and it does what you need to do. So 
I recommend this uh, if you're trying to run an extra monitor. You have an extra monitor. You can do uh, have what my what I had. You have an extra monitor laying around, and uh, you want to hook it up. You know, just have an extra monitor to watch TV or do extra things, clear up your desktop. This is an awesome display adapter to get, and I highly recommend it.